Thank you, Coca-Cola, for your delivery. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on one of my favorite models. This is a Mercedes 280 SL Hot Wheels Red Line. It was a beautiful little specimen. My buddy Chris sent a bunch of cars in, a bunch of red lines. He kind of saved our butts here because we don't really have any red lines to work on. So he sent in a bunch, and this is one of them. Check it out. It's beautiful. I had to go into the archives a little bit, but I had one of these when I started the channel uh, years ago. It was green. Not apple green, but just plain old red line green. And I couldn't find anywhere that made a reproduction 280 SL hood anywhere, so it never really made it on the show, except for during the unboxing. We got another one, and guess what guys? We're gonna paint it green, just like my old one. The one that got away, you know what I'm saying? Let's get going. This one's starting to look a little rough. I love this little body style, man, this little car. I don't know, I don't know what it is. Something about this little thing just speaks to me. So I really like that, I really like my old one. I don't know what kind of engine these cars had. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. <laughs> these Mercedes ones were only produced in Hong Kong, so, the majority of them have blue glass. If you find one with clear glass, again, it might be a prototype. Also, clear windshields and black tops. That's all I remember about these things. This is it gonna be so exciting, rebuilding my old car? I sold that thing, eh? It's gone, so I don't have it anymore. Yes, I bought the wrong size gloves. I'm gonna stop looking at my fat hands now. They almost look a little thin, you know, like when, uh, it's like when you see a woman in leggings that are like a size too small, you know, it gets a little transparent. <laughs> there we go. Gotta be careful with this hood, man. I don't wanna wreck that hood. Oh, time capsule. Beautiful. Man, you really gotta skip leg day you wanna drive this thing around. All right, you know, we can get this body stripped. I'm gonna try to film a little bit differently today. I'm gonna put this up on my little helping hands stand. Let's just strip it right here in plain daylight. We'll film this one like a, like a documentary. Here we have a 280SL in its natural environment being stripped of its paint. Wow, that's cool. Remember, the ingredient we're looking for when we're buying paint stripper like this is methylene chloride. I can't say it enough times. The, that's one of those questions that always, always comes to my inbox. Is, Ew. Didn't do a good job of drying that off. So here's our body. It's actually a little bit rougher than I first thought it would be. Doesn't look as good without the makeup on it, does it? Mm -mm. Got some crusty spots on the trunk. It's toning real bad. You can see it's like light, dark, light, dark. So you can't leave all that alone. You could try polish this up and it would look good polished. But those dark spots are still gonna, it's gonna be darker polished there and lighter polished there. That's how it's gonna look. So you kind of gotta zinc it. So we're gonna do a combination of all those things. We're gonna do a little sanding, a little scotch bright, and we're gonna get this cleaned up as best we can. Then we're gonna zinc it a few times and get this like brand new. Cause you know, we love this thing and we wanna fix it. Okay. Nice and bright there. So that's our zinc. Looks good. Just those couple dark spots, which if we sand through, I imagine we'll have a hole in the zinc. No sense zincing over top of oxidation. I don't know if you even could, but it's just going to keep rotting if you don't sand that out. So that's what we got to do, man. I'm gonna do a once over here with wire wheelie polish like I used to do in the old days to give these a good clean. You see all this polish will just turn black and our, our body will look nice and fresh after this. And then I probably give it one more light scuffing and then uh, we'll start zinking at that point. After I do uh, many good cleanups, of course. So 
So here's our car. I've got this thing surgically clean like I was gonna implant it. You screw up the heck out of it. I got the zinker set up. Ready, go. Ooh, see that? That electrical torque. I'm just gonna leave this for 10 minutes. We'll be right back. All right, let's have a look-see here. In about 10 minutes. Ooh, baby. Yeah, you can see some of the problem areas still. Those areas, we're gonna have to sand. I should get my coffee out of the splash zone here. Really gets into all the little nooks and crannies and stuff. You don't want to leave any of this gray kind of powdery looking material inside like your logo, right? So the wire brush really gets right in there as opposed to like using steel wool or something. So I think we could probably get away with just going for a polish right now, but I'm, I'm going to give it a second coat of zinc. You can see on this trunk, we still got some little pits here. So I'm going to just keep sanding and plating until those are gone. So this could take a little while. So I'm about five coats into it. As you can see, I just started dipping the trunk, which makes more sense than trying to do the whole car every time. You can see our pits are very diminished at this point. Just these two pits left. I don't know how many more coats it's gonna to take to fill them in, but it's looking a lot better anyways. Each time it gets better and better. You can just barely see that one there. So I'll probably go one more time and call it good. One last little zinc plate to kind of do the whole car one more time. This time I'm going to be sanding with 2000 grit to keep everything nice and smooth before we go into a polish. It's 2000 grit so you don't got to worry about it too much. What a beautiful little car, huh? I got a little 3M machine polish in here. We're gonna do that to finish up these uh, these little fine scratches. We're gonna be pretty liberal with this stuff as well. Man, these things look good with fresh zinc, eh? So, let me go get this ready for paint. And I'll be right back. We'll be in the spray booth. I gave our base a little, the usual treatment. I do a brass wire wheelie with polish first and then I come back and just buff it. This thing's looking real fresh. I got our little taillights masked off here. I was just about to mix up a little bit of uh, taillight juice here, or paint. It's kind of just a light red, really. Oh, it's way too much white. Or is it? Oh, that was more orange than I wanted. Hopefully it's okay. I think we got it. I know this looks like Pepto right now on your screen, but um, it's not. It's definitely darker. That's what color it really is. And this will dry to like a matte finish just like this. So I know it's really hard to see, but I'm trying to get everything on film. But sometimes it just doesn't cooperate. So this is looking good to me here. So I'm going to go spray this base quick. It's got that vintage salmon tail lights, exactly how it was from the factory. Isn't that sweet? Glig, 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 glig. Hell yeah, man. Them's are looking good. This Mercedes is going to be pimped out. Factory tail lights, shiny grill, freshly cleaned interior. Oh, she's been in the oven for an hour. By the time these hemostats cool down, she's ready to be handled. Blip, 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 blip. Boy, she looks fancy, doesn't she? There she be. Look at her. All toned up, it's got the nice tail lights. It's like she never left. All right, clean hands. Oh, she's 
she's beautiful. First, let's go back and reminisce of what we were dealing with. Now, let's look at our restored green mistress. Oh, baby, check that out. Hell yeah, what do you guys think of that? I think that's a beauty. The green really goes well with these cars. My favorite. Thank you very much to Chris for sending this in, plus many others. All the red lines you're going to see coming up are, are from Chris, so... Thanks, Chris, for the red line content. Hell yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a like if you didn't. Just leave a like. Because leaving a like saves lives. Okay? Bam, 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 bam. Anything's pimp.